Okay, so hello and welcome to today's Community Spotlight where I interview local companies I know and trust and introduce them to you. I'm your host, Ben Campbell, and today I am with Chad Briley with Superman Moving Company. That's right. So, a little side note, Chad and I became good friends because uh, we work out at the same gym with our buddy, uh, Nick Halverson. And is your mo my motto is do whatever Halvey does but less. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Briley's so, Fitness, that's we're sitting right, outside. Yeah. Where we at Fox Hollow Golf Course. Yeah. His gym is right below the chalet. The chalet. It's, yeah. a, it's a personal training gym. Yeah. Look him up, Rise Fitness. He's the guy and the type of trainer that he'll kill you, but you love it. And he is shredded. Yeah. Right? So it's, <laughs> it makes total sense. He's telling you, this yeah. is what I do. This is what I eat. This is what I work out. So yeah, yeah he's that trainer. Yeah. So, um, okay, Chad. So how did you get into business, the Superman Moving Company? How'd you get into business? Yeah. So I'll backtrack a little bit and then I'll get into the, to the, the moving side of it. But okay. I was in real estate. Yep. Uh, after high school, went down to Arizona, mm -hmm. lived there for three or four years, came back mm -hmm. in like 2004, I believe. Uh, started working for my dad, mm -hmm. sold real estate, and then I was in that for six years, heavily on his team, and then uh, I started getting into corporate rentals, so executive rentals before Airbnb. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. was like 2008 or something. Yeah, yeah. I started getting a bunch of uh, executive rentals. VRBO was out there, mm -hmm. but Airbnb was not. And what I did is I started uh, buying up and getting executive rental units. And I had like 57 units at the peak. <laughs> Holy but what, was, what the hard part was is I would uh, take them from a non-furnished unit to a furnished unit. And I would call up Bailey's Furniture and I'd be like, hey, I need to furnish yeah. four two-bedroom apartments. And at the time, Buddy Bailey was my sales rep. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'd call <laughs> nice. Buddy up on his cell phone. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, dude, I need six or whatever yeah. apartments full of furniture. And he would text me pictures. How about these red couches and this? Yeah. And he would literally piece it together like queen bedroom set. Anyways, piece it together for us. Well, at that time, no one was really, they wouldn't pick up your order from Bailey's, yeah. deliver it to four different apartments or condos, break it out of the box and assemble it. Okay. There was nobody really around wow. uh, that would do that. So what I did is I bought a truck. It's a picture of it in my office currently. Yeah. Piece of crap. I paid 1800 bucks for it. It was, uh, <laughs> and, and this was when like, there was really nice box trucks. This yeah. wasn't like in the seventies and yeah. $1,800 went a long way. This was like, the door wouldn't close. Yeah. Some of my first guys still joke around about it. But we had bought a box truck for 1800 bucks. I put an ad up, got two college kids and they came in and they worked in that delivery side yeah so they would go to bailey's and pick it up and we and as we assembled and a lot of times in the corporate rental business somebody would and when i say corporate it wasn't like the, the vacation traveler it yeah. was like bp conoco yeah, yeah yeah those people would call me up yeah. and they would say we need we need 10 two-bedroom apartments or 15 or whatever they needed yeah but sometimes they would have special requests like in the second bedroom i need a desk set up yeah, yeah so yeah. we have to take the bed out so we're constantly moving stuff around and uh so anyways, we did that for a long time, a couple years, it felt like, I don't know, I have to look. And then on the side, one day we put a sticker that said, two men and a truck, 80 bucks an hour. Yeah, yeah. And I was like trying to supplement what these guys were doing for us internally. And then we put a phone number on it and then it just started, we put ads on Craigslist and whatever. So essentially I got into the moving business because I was in the real estate business, which then went into the corporate rental business. <laughs> so I just and then next ahead. thing you know, like a few years later, yeah. like, so this is our 12th year in business. So I guess nice. that'd be like 2000, say, 12, 12 yeah. yes 11 when we were we were like wow we're, we're we're delivering for our own internal rental business and now people are calling us that are like they there was a demand for it for right. sure you found a little niche yeah, there found a niche for delivery and then it just kind of went like probably most businesses you get into delivery and the next thing you know somebody calls you a year after you delivered something for them and they're like hey we're moving now can you do that and being that i been sure. in sales my yeah. whole life. It was like, sure, we yeah. can do that. And then you hang up the phone and you're like, oh, oh how are we going to do this? Do this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just said we booked six guys and we have two on payroll. Yeah. So we just kind of grew in that fashion. I said. So and, that's how I got it. And grown substantially. Grown substantially in the last 12 years, yes. Um, boom from 20 to now, like a like yeah. due to COVID, right? Like that yeah. was a huge boom for us, yeah. um, especially when we started shifting into moving out of state because what, what ultimately had happened was if you're in the Anchorage market and you know the whole surrounding area, Kenai, Girdwood, everywhere, and you're moving people from house to house yeah. for six, seven years, at some point somebody's gonna call you and they're gonna say, hey, I'm moving to Texas. Right. And for a few years, you know, year, however long, we were like, no, we don't do that. And then finally we were like, okay, that's, that's, there's a need 
and people were happy with our original service, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and get into that. So the, the growth did happen when we started moving people out of Alaska yep. and then back into Alaska in addition to our local work we do around here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty That's a long answer, but yeah, hey, we but got there. Good. You we got, got there. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I mean, kind of goes off a little bit of it, but what's, what's one thing everyone should know about hiring or using your business? Yeah, so that's a good question. So with us, this is what we try to do. I try to show up in professional vehicles, yep. uniform guys yep. that have been trained and vetted by us. Now, at this month and this year, it's easier said than done to try to find somebody yeah, that's yeah. going to show up yep. for work yep. long enough for you to train them to become a professional at their trade. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. in years past, it was not as difficult to find guys that wanted to be movers that you could train up. I've had... I've had guys that, that almost in the last year or two they've moved on, but I had movers that were that started with truck one oh, and really? are still here ten years later. That's awesome. Um, so th there there was guys that wanted to make a career out of it. Yeah. Well, so when I say we want to show up, be professional in uniform guys, does that mean you're going to get a guy today that's not in uniform? Probably. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. that's that harder to manage. Yeah. But when you book us, it's a professional service. Yeah. I have. A, a full staff in the office that that answers your phone call every mm -hmm. time you need something mm -hmm. we have dispatchers that dispatch the crew we have quality check our surveyors go out and what they'll do is so if, if you want to move what I always recommend to everybody is if you're moving across town or across state it doesn't matter call us up we'll send somebody out and give you a free estimate and of how much we think it's gonna cost you nice. rather than just booking it over the phone which we do all the time yeah so since we offer a service of free estimates we also, those same guys that go out and do estimates, stop in and check on crews. So we oh. call it quality checks. So that's if, that's good. Yeah, if we're working for you today yeah. and it's an eight hour job, the, the trick for us would be is we call you, my administrative staff, twice during that move mm -hmm. just to check on you. Yeah. And then most likely a surveyor will stop in personally and check to see how everything's going. That's that's great. Yeah, so that's really good. The, the idea is that the, the quality is what you're getting when you hire us. Yes, yeah. good, yeah. good. Okay, this is a fun one. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Well, <laughs> so I have a bunch. Uh, this video is going to be real long. Yeah, that's right. No, so I have a bunch. So as some people that know me know that my my dad and my uncle owned video stores when I was a kid. They yeah. owned Briley's Video. And there were six of them all around town. Yeah. So I was constantly watching movies all the time. Like yeah. on a day like this, it's rainy or overcast. Yeah. We'd go and get five or six movies and blow them out over the weekend. So... I have a huge library yeah. in my head of yeah. movies that I've always watched. But I mean, off the off the top, this is gonna sound this is gonna sound stupid, no. but it's probably because I have my younger two boys, eleven and thirteen. Yeah. Right now, my favorite off the top would be Top Gun, any version. The one or two? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're oh, both yeah. really good. Oh man! But, and I know I, that's popular right yeah. now, so that's kind of like a cheesy answer. No, but, but it's fantastic you know, movies. It's dude, it's. Any Will Ferrell movie, right? Oh, like yeah. seriously, Talladega Nights or whatever that My one's wife called. and I yeah. just watched Blades of Glory yeah. last night. We haven't seen that forever. <laughs> that that is funny. so funny. Yeah. So. But if you were to ask my wife, I'm constantly one of those guys who like talks in movie quotes. Oh, you're the like, way. Like, always. Yeah, I'm just like, tell me you know this line? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny that we talk about that. But for right now, probably Top Gun because that's fresh on my mind. But I could go through all the 80s movies Good. everywhere. Good. Yes. Love it. Okay. And uh, lastly, what's the best way for them to reach you? So our office phone, the main phone line, 644-0307. Quick Google, pull us up, Google Maps, yep. Facebook, Instagram. But yeah, call the office. Good. Um, I In the moving industry, we have online inquiries, and you can send us emails and all that, but it's most common to get a phone call because yeah, people yeah. do want to hear, and they want to they want to tell you what they got going on because every moving situation is super unique. It's so completely it's different. It's like I'm unloading yeah. a semi trailer, or you know, the, I need a forklift, yeah. a piano, a hot tub. We were my estimator was at Prominence Point yesterday, and they're like, "Hey, we're moving a hot tub from the second floor, hooking it up to a crane, bringing it down, put the new one on top, and it's just all those nuances that you yeah. almost want to call us, have that." three, five, ten minute discussion with our office team and then we'll dispatch somebody. So phone is the most, even though that seems like an outdated no, way to call somebody. I, I love calling like them. Instagram us. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 still call us. <laughs> yeah, look us up in the yellow pages. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that is it. Let's see what we can do to get Chad more business. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Later.